new report by Corporate Accountability and Public Participation Africa, CAPA, has revealed how big tobacco companies are using proxies and, of course, front groups to engage in meetings and activities with government officials, thereby undermining public health policies and tobacco control activities in the country. Let's take you through the processes involved in that survey, the findings, and, of course, the way forward for tobacco control in Nigeria. The report titled The Big Tobacco Allies, How Tobacco Companies Use Intermediaries to Foster Their Corporate Social Responsibility Initiatives and Promote Their Image in Nigeria, provides an insight on the strategies deployed by the tobacco industry through proxies and front groups to weaken the implementation of the National Tobacco Control Act 2015. The industry is doing everything they can in order to enter the room through the back door. And in cases where they cannot enter the room, they wanted to send their allies and proxies. And that we need to be very careful about even people that tend to call themselves researchers, public policy analysts, all of them springing up to speak about tobacco control because majority of them, as this report has shown us, are speaking they are serving as megaphones of the tobacco industry. Uh, we started work on this campaign when the first wave of uh, COVID-19 pandemic hit Nigeria. Uh, so it meant uh, doing extra work to get information. And we used uh, our allies in the tobacco control world, uh, tobacco control advocates within Nigeria here, we used um, volunteers. We also had uh, some of the information come from our media friends who have been very, very conversant with how the industry uh, works. Now, how did we get this information that we are putting out today? Some of this information we got uh, even from the websites of the tobacco multinationals to some of the information you you have here, which of course are not things they want uh, the world to understand. Uh, they, they try to confuse things, but through their websites, we're able to dig out some of these things. Through their Facebook, through their Twitter, through their Instagram pages, we've obtained some of this information. Some of the strategies uncovered include forming alliances with other stakeholders in the tobacco supply chain, such as tobacco farmers and growers, given scholarships for research work in the education sector and training and skills development for farmers. These promotional activities end up getting as many people as possible hooked to tobacco products said to be deadly. The findings border on the various ways the tobacco industry, you know, how they develop new antics all aimed at stepping down, you know, all the efforts of tobacco control advocates in ensuring complete and effective implementation of the National Tobacco Control Act of 2015 and the regulations of 2019. Um, they do this um, through interaction with um, allies and um, front groups and even public officials. Yeah, so they bring these antics and they shroud it in corporate social responsibility. And we think this is wrong because it's um, aimed at deceiving the general public who do not understand that beyond those activities they carry out, that there's an underlying you know, meaning and activity to that. The survey, which aims at waking government up to its responsibility of protecting public health, recommends the full implementation of the National Tobacco Control Act 2015 and its regulations of 2019. Every time we're talking about tobacco control, we must remind ourselves that we are talking of a killer that is currently ki killing 16,100 Nigerians every year. We're talking of a product that is likely going to kill about a billion people this particular century. 
The media presentation of the report also created an opportunity to call on everyone to take a part in the global campaign to take down the tobacco industry in the interest of public health. The Take Apart campaign is uh, a global movement. Uh, and this global movement uh, uh, is uh, initiated, uh, uh, was initiated in 2018 by the Campaign for Tobacco Free Kids, uh, CTFK. And uh, it's uh, aiming at uh, taking down the tobacco. Other recommendations of the report include stoppage of all economic incentives and benefits to the tobacco industry, as well as educating public officials on the public health implications of interacting with the tobacco industry. I mean, section 25, 27, 28 of the National Tobacco Control Act clearly provides for how the government should limit interactions with the tobacco companies. Those sessions clearly forbid the kind of MOUs and partnerships that this report unveiled. It also stated very clear guidelines about how people in government should not be found in a position where they will do acts that will be in conflict with their role to promote public health. The survey was carried out by Corporate Accountability 